Check out the links in my description for more information, for more resources. Uh, check out the podcasts. Check out the Facebook groups. You know, just check out the links. There's a lot of great stuff there. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, share, like, dislike, you know, whatever you want to do. This is my Head Shack Fuel by Hatred deck. One copy of the leader. Four Head Shack Fuel by Hatred. Four Head Shack Saiyan Exterminator. Four Cumber for Rias Frenzy. Four Mass Saiyan Assassin of the Darkness. Four Oceana Shenron. Four Shenron Figure of Majesty. Four Lord Sludge Ghost Warrior. Four Dr. Leche. Four Gohan. Um, hostile Saiyan Encounter. Four Black uh, Smoke Dragon. Four Instant Transmission 10 times Command Man. For the Dark Planet, for uh, SS4 Bardock Resonant, um, for um, God Putin and God Gravy, and for SS4 Vegeta Supreme Saint Power. So we got a new 5 drop Hatchiac card. So definitely wanted to put it to play. I already got my play set. We also got Cumber, which is pretty nice because uh, he has an active main, limit 1, pay 1 black. Energy, your leader card is black, and your opponent has two or more energy, and they have a battle card. You can play this card. So you can play this 19k dual attack for one energy if your opponent has a battle card and two or more energy. Which is nice to have um, to be able to play this, what, turn two, even turn three. So it's just one energy, just be able to you know, swing. Um, then it also has the auto when this card is played, choose up to one of your opponent's uh, battle cards and again turn until the end of the turn. So have ten you're giving your opponent's battle card ten K extra power and the ability that it cannot uh, restand during your opponent's um charge phase. So it's a way of tapping that something down. So it's, it's decent, you know, it's a good way to prevent something from being able to uh, attack you on the following turn, especially if it's a big threat. Um, so that's how you'll, you'll utilize it. We get more dual attacking capabilities, obviously through Hatchet Fueled by Hatred. That's our goal is to get this big boy out there, you know, swing in every turn. Um, the strategy is to bring out a Hatchet Sane Encounter, because he's 25k with crit, and he has the active main limit 1, pay 2. Later cards a machine black machine mutant. If the dark planet is in your uh, battle area, so that's the field card, and you you know choose three black battle cards with energy cost between three and seven, and place them at the bottom of your deck in any order. Play this card from your drop. So of course, dark planet will be milling two cards at the end of your turn. So filling up your drop with battle cards wouldn't be that uh, that hard. And you'll be able to use this to obviously put them back into the bottom of your deck to play them from the drop. And then he has the second active main once per turn, pay two. If you have four more energy, so essentially this is a turn four play. Switch this card to active mode. So obviously you're going to attack with it first because it's a 25k crit, five drop. Then pay the two. And then um, play a uh, Hatchiac Fueled by Hatred from your drop or warp on top of this card. So then you take your. Hatchet Fuel by Hatred, play it on top of it. And since it has dual attack, you get, you get to attack with it twice. And hit by its permanent, it'll be a 8 drop. So it can attack um, after you attack with your Hatchet. Uh, same ex um, exterminator, because you know, your leader's effect when a battle card attacks, any battle card 7 or less um, cannot attack afterwards. So. Of course, him becoming 8 allows you to attack with him afterwards. So keep that in mind. Um, auto place this card in an owner's drop area when your opponent's battle card attacks, negate the attack. So it has a uh, built in negate. And then it has the active main. Choose uh, active main once per turn. Choose three black battle cards with energy cards between 3 and 7 in your drop and place at the bottom of your deck in any order. Choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier and send it to the warp. So, this is our inherent barrier barrier hate. So, this will definitely be useful to you know clear up one, you know, to get rid of any problematic battle cards with. So, we have another way of getting rid of battle cards is through our uh, Lord Slug. You can play him from your hand, 
by bottom decking, you know, uh, three black battle crests with energy cost between three and seven. And then has the active main place this card into the owner's drop area. Choose one of your opponents but our cards with energy cost greater than or equal to their to, to your opponent's energy and send it to the warp. So it doesn't ignore a barrier, but it's very useful against certain problematic cards. Especially if your opponent's cheating things out, but we have a couple ways of getting rid of our opponent's battle cards. And of course we have the war wipe ability of Demon God Putin. This is the main reason the cards in the deck. It's mainly for us to use it for that as other uses, but our main use is to use it as a board wipe. So, uh, control the board is the main thing. Reduce how many attackers your opponent can attack with, especially you always want to get rid of your opponent's dual attackers, right? Um, to deal with any problematic unisons, obviously we got Black Smoke Dragon for that. Uh, we got Shingle Run Figure Majesties to give us more draw power. We already draw what we awaken our leader. Uh, we have uh, Bardock, so we can draw, so we can obviously uh, have Bardock, Shenron, along with our leader, so we can be drawing three cards a turn. So it's good synergy there. And then, um, of course, we have the Dr. Leche for a reusable, a reusable blocker. We got Instant Transmission, Tenzin, Kamehameha as a reusable negate. Um, we have a Sons of Bean like effect with uh, Black Mass Saiyan because it has an active battle limit 1, pay 1 black energy. If your leader card is black, play this card from your hand. Then his auto kicks in. When this card is played, choose uh, choose 1. And then the one you're going to choose is during your opponent's turn, which is the second effect. Uh, choose up to one of your cards and it gets 5k power for the turn. So obviously, you choose your leader. So that way, your leader will be a 20k for the duration of that turn. So. This will mainly be used uh, defensively as a floodgate sensor beam, basically. And then, of course, we have Oceanus. You know, it's a blocker, it's a floodgate ability. If your opponent attacks, they have to mill four cards. So you could use it as a win con, milling your opponent out. Then we have uh, Gohan, Hostile Saiyan Encounter. Has the auto if this card is in them. If you have four or less, it, you know, your leader's back, you have four or less life. Um, and you add one card from your life to your hand, place one card from your hand at the bottom of your deck. When your opponent uh, attacks with a battle card, you may play this card from your drop or warp in rest mode and then negate the attack. So, so if you have four or less life and this card is in your drop, you can take a life and play this in rest mode and negate an attack. So it's a free negate, which is nice to have a free negate since we can't have the blocker, the, the, the not block, the, yeah, the, the blocker negate. Because we can't play the token, this makes up four, so uh, good enough. Better than nothing, a uh, free negate is a free negate. Um, and, it's, and it works from the drop, which is extra nice. Um, you know, power, you know, protector of the no, power burst, you know, obviously works from the hand. Um, obviously, you can also play the card, that card as well if you want, but I'm not using it. Let's make space for, you know, Smoke Dragon. Smoke Dragon has a couple effects. You play, you can... You can place up to three cards on top of your deck into the drop. Um, and if there are several more cards in, in all drop areas, you can draw two cards. There's the choose one of your opponent's better cards with energy cost seven or less. Ignore barrier and warp in. And there's the choose up to one of your opponent's unisons with specified cost two or less and seven or, or fewer markers and send it to warp. So there's some unison hate in there. The Dark Planet, when you play it, um, you can go grab a Lord Slug as the main target for this card. So, uh, first auto, and then second auto at the end of your turn. Um, place the top two cards of your, of your deck to the drop. So you always will have battle cards in your drop for your Hatchy Axe. And it's a good way to help you, you know, obviously filter and get to your cards. Get your Leche in the drop so you can use him. Um, from the drop, play him from the drop. He's a blocker and he has the ability to mill two cards so it further helps you put more and more cards in the drop so that we can fill up for sparking for Shinron Figure Majesty as well as for your hatred, uh, fuel by hatred, you know, strategy. And, um, you know, Bardock, uh, of course, has his floodgate ability where you minus two and until they know your opponent's next turn. They can't attack with battle cards unless they choose one card from their hand and send it to their warp. And then, as an added you know, win con, we got the, the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta Supreme Saiyan power, so we can burn our point for one. 
So ideally what you want to have is is you know you want to have uh what was it? Um, ideally you want to have one Shimmer Figure Majesty in play and and get to turn seven, which is not too hard. You can get to turn eight with this deck. But the idea is obviously is um you know, the earliest is turn seven because you'll play this for five. Right? So that way it has five markers, which means you have two two energy left. Use Shenron Figure Majesty to draw a card on tap two energy. So you have four energy, four black energy specifically, right? And then use this four black energy with uh, Vegeta in order to send one of your opponent's cards from their life to their warp, which can help you either win in time because you have more life than the opponent or, you know, burn your opponent out for a game. So. That's what that's there for, and that's the end of the video. Not the end, because I keep forgetting <laughs> we have a Z deck. Um, we have four copies of Goku for the mission, and three copies of Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta surmounting the impossible. The only good like, a Z battle crest we have so far, obviously. Can't wait for them to make more. Um, this is 15k uh, crit. Um, it has an auto where you can burst three, but it can't use it in this deck. And it could get strong if you could warp stuff, but mainly it's just a 15k crit uh, for one Z energy and two black energy. So you could potentially play this, you know, as soon as turn two. So it's guarantee, you know, 15k crit, which is always good to have crit. Um, especially with Hatchack, you're not trying to give your opponent any pluses. And um, this Vegeta is decent because of the fact that when you play, um, place one card from your hand at the bottom of your deck, when this card is played, and then add up to one card from your life to your hand, and then draw a card. Um, so we're not going to add a life. Obviously, we're just going to uh, place a card from your hand to the bottom of the deck, and then just draw a card. So it's a way of filtering our hand. So that way we can try to get to certain combo pieces. So it's good for that in case you got too many unisons in your hands that you can just bottom deck the unison, right? And then just draw a card to replace the unison as an example. So it's good for that. But then, you know, that's why we got more of the Goku mission than the Vegeta. And that's the end of the video.